the Continuing Professional Development Program, a new program we just launched. And hosting this is Vinny Aruda, Education Manager, and Alex Morrell, Training Manager. And they're going to be giving a short presentation, uh, taking you through some of the basic steps of getting set up in this program. And then we'll open it up for questions. So as we're going along, feel free to take any notes, uh, write down any questions, and bring them to us at the end. Turn it over to you guys. Thank you. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for being here today. Um, me and Alex, uh, we will try to go over this uh, new program that we just launched um, not long ago um, called CPD. Um, Sierra, the next slide, please. So today's agenda will be covering the background of the CPD, uh, the reason we created and also um, what it's about, and then also uh, activities and levels regards to the credits that you can earn, and then um, going through the website together. Uh, that's probably the one very important part that Alex, uh, you will show um, how you can actually log an activity and uh, records and, and everything. And finally, the answers and questions. The next slide, please. So um, I want to start with the why first, why we created the CPT program. Uh, basically, we've been um, receiving all of these years feedbacks from you guys ASTs um, regards to how um, you have been improving yourselves how, when it comes to renew your license um, what is what you have to do what can be different the, one of the main reasons that we've decided to put this program in place is that because quality for us is a priority we know that you are all um, the best educators um, around the world delivering the program that we've created together. Um, but we want to be able to connect with you more and support you in terms of your personal and professional development. Uh, the number of ASTs grew and we want to be able to um, access those ASTs when it comes to renew the license. So, for that, we created what is called the Continuum Professional Development Program. So, um, a part of your, as part of your commitment with the students, we want to ensure that through this, uh, your license, you've been developing yourself, uh, attending different activities, improving your skills, um, learning. Because we are, in the end, professional learners. We never stop to learn. So, this program that we created, uh, it will allow to uh, log and track the knowledge and the skills that you've been uh, earning all of this time during your, the period of your license. And in the end, those uh, activities, it will help you to earn what is called the CPD credits. So basically, it's a platform, it's an online platform that um, allows you to access from whatever you are and it will formalize and track those activities. Next slide. So as I mentioned before, um, for you to be able to earn points, um, you will log uh, those activities that you've been doing so far. And these activities, they are divided uh, in five different what's called CPG activities. And within these uh, activities, you have three different levels. To renew your license, you will require to earn a total of 45 CPD point credits uh, over three years period. In terms of activities, you have events, learnings, research, volunteering, uh, teaching, training, and possibly a few others. And that's why we call miscellaneous. Uh, in terms of levels, we have different levels depending on the complexity of these activities. So if, um, if it's a level one, you earn a five points, level two, 10 points, and level three, 15 points. Um, as you can see, just by having one activity of each levels, you 
already very close to achieve the 45 points. So on the next slide, please, you will see an example of uh, different activities in, uh, at this level. So for activity, in this case, it is a learning activity. And then if you are attending as an ASC or as a student, uh, an additional foundation level model, uh, you log this activity in your CPD platform and you will earn five points. But if you're attending an intermediate level, you earn 10 points. And the professional one, 15 points. That doesn't mean that you are delivering this course. You are actually, in this case, learning and attending an, ex, an additional uh, CSP um, or CTP foundation intermediate professional course yourself. Now, we realize when we are trying to figure out um, how we categorize these activities and levels that it is, it's, it's too broad. And sometimes it goes to case to case. So we decided to leave a little bit open in that case instance. So the CPD guidebook, it's your first place to go if you have any questions regards to the activity that you've been doing. So if you don't find the activity in there, as an example, um, either you contact us at cpds at sca.coffee um, and that will uh, and we will clarify what activity is. Now we will be um, since we launched uh, in the first of August, we've received a few emails regards to uh, oh what type of activity is that. So we will be updating the CPD guidebook very soon with more examples of activities. So that will be much easier for you to access. Okay. Next slide. So on the next slide, um, my colleague Alex, she will go through live, and I hope it works, uh, with a website where you have to log your activity. So she will explain everything about that uh, step by step. And um, I pass to you, Alex. Thanks, Freddie. All right, you should be the presenter there, Alex. Thank oh, so you. No, you actually, Sierra, you actually have a different uh, of the wrong names for us. So on the screen, my face shows as uh, Alex, and not Alex. And I'm not <laughs> That's um, funny. I wonder how I got turned around. All right, making Vinny <laughs> the presenter, which should be Alex. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. But can you see my screen? Yes. Great. Hello, everyone. Thank you for um, joining us today. I'll show you how to uh, use the CPD site. So the first thing that you need to do is log in. And you can do this via the AST portal. So you'll go to sca.coffee and click into education, AST login. You will log in the normal way as you would if you're going into the portal. Once you've logged in to the ASC portal, you will see the added tile continuing professional development. You can click in there. And then you will get to the login page for the CPD. Here you will put your username in. Your username is your learner number. So the login and passwords for the CP CPD site um, were sent out um, a few weeks ago.
Oh dear. Oh, it does help if I spell my name correct. Fingers crossed. Yes, okay. So there are two ways to add a CPD record. And the first way is to um, add the new activity. And the second way would be to subscribe to a shared activity. So to add an activity, you click here. And what you should do first is scroll down to categories to decide which category uh, your activity will come under. Now I'm going to add the activity sensory skills intermediate course because I attended that and I will put that for today. Sorry. So this activity will be under learning and I already know that that was a level two so I'll click here and as you can see achieving an additional intermediate level module. So I click that one. Now a level two is worth 10 points. So I scroll back up. I can select level two and you just have to type it here once more. Uh, you can fill in any details you like. So I'm, I'm going to put, I attended this course with AST, Julie. And if the course had already taken place, I would um, then add the file because I should have the certificate, which will be in my learner profile to download. Um, but if the course hadn't already taken place, you click into later. And only once you've added, an, added a review, then the CPD, um, this activity credits will be added to your CPD uh, credit cycle. So next I'll click add. And as you can see here, that it has been added to my list of personal and subscribed activities. Now you can go on and edit, delete, or duplicate if you want at a later date. Now to um, subscribe to an already populated activity, you go back to the homepage. And throughout the year, um, we will be adding subscribed activities like this one here, Coffee Roasters Camp. Um, we would like to try and add as many activities for you as possible. It's like a reminder uh, for you that you have these um, activities available and it's just a bit more extra support for you uh, so you can see what's listed and what's coming up. And the event, event banner here will show you what's coming up. Uh, we haven't yet added a lot of activities, but we will definitely be doing that for you. Um, and we're also giving you the opportunity to add act the activities yourself. So this is a really a free platform for you to create your own activities and you'll be able to come to us and ask, ask us if those activities will be um, worth CPD credits. So I'm now going to subscribe to Coffee Roasters Guild Camp because I'm going to that. Not really, but I'd like to. I'll click in there. And all you need to do is click subscribe. The credit points have already been allocated to this activity, uh, this activity, so um, you don't have to worry about that. And then once I've subscribed, you'll see here in your calendar that it's available. And if I go back to the home page, you will now see I have that as a subscribed activity. 
So you could only review the activity after it has taken place. Uh, like for example, the um, sensory skills intermediate course is awaiting a review and that's because it doesn't finish until uh, the 17th. So after that date, this is your reminder to go in and do that. And only once you've re reviewed an activity, then will it show in your cycle details, which is here. So if you're a 2019 AST renewing, uh, you will be required, required to do the 45 credits. Uh, if you are an AST from 2018, you will only need to do uh, 20 credits until your new AST license period. And if you are a 2017 AST, we just uh, would recommend that you start using the program just so you're familiar uh, when it comes round to your AST renewal in 2020. In 2020, you then will be required to do the full 45 credits. So we're trying to just ease everybody into this program um, as simply as possible. There's also an option to create a PDP uh, plan. This is your personal development plan. And this is optional. So here I have created a list of um, Play, I like um, activities that I may like to attend, events that I might go to. So all you need to do is add. And you just fill in the details as needed and click add. We have the uh, CPD guidebook available and it was um, given out um, in our last AST mailing from the 31st of July. And the mailing looked uh, like this. So I hope that you've received that. And in that mailing, there is a link where you can download the guide in the meantime. So we're currently working on the resources page in the ASD portal. And that's where the guide will also be available to download at a later date once we've finished the work on that section. That's all from me. So back to you, Sierra. Thanks so much, Alex. I hope that was clear for everyone. Um, and I see that we already have a couple of questions um, that have come in. Um, let's see. I'm just going to make myself the presenter again. There we go. Um, so the first question that we have here is, what if you've completed all courses? Um, if you attend another AST course, do you get credit? So do you want to speak a little bit to that? Shall I? So um, yeah. any credits, only credits that are uh, from, because the program started on the 1st of August 2019, only credits from the 1st of August 2019, sorry, only activities, can be added as CPD credits. So anything before uh, will not be included unless it was an honoured event. And the honoured events were um, AST Live um, for uh, Berlin 2019, uh, the AST meeting at Word of Coffee Berlin, um, Sensory Summit, uh, which was earlier on in the year. Now, there's another question. <clears throat> so uh, I don't know if that answered the question. Uh, I will uh, just uh, add um, a comment in there. So we are trying to... So ideally, what we want to see is the ASTs uh, developing themselves and not focusing only one activity. So for you to be able to renew your uh, license and achieve all the credits, so uh, it, ideally we want to see you go through all different, um, not all, <laughs> if I wish, but um, different activities and different levels. So for example, one learning activity level one, we'll teach it activity level two, and an event activity level three so that's that's the idea and um, now of course you will learn those credits for from the first of august if you attend different modules uh, and different levels that counts as well but we want you to go through these different activities that will give you a more broad development 
Okay. Uh, and, yes, but, uh, and yes, attending this webinar, it, it is an activity. And actually, um, it's a good example and a good question. Thanks for that. Because uh, what I wanted to mention before um, is that we've developed this program uh, to work together with you. So it's not only about our expectation from you, but it's about how can we support you. So we understand that there is many countries um, or many ASTs that work um, in areas that is not easy to access the to different activities. So we want to be able to constantly share some activities coming from us, uh, ideally online, that will allow you to, um, to be able to um, earn those credits. Okay. Thank you. I'm just dropping a link to the mailing um, in the chat. So everyone should be able to see that in the webinar now. And we'll also put this link to the mailing um, in the ASD Facebook group. So everyone should be able to have access to that. Um, so then I have a question about how many credits are allotted per event. For example, if someone attended Sensory Summit um, in the beginning of 2019, how much credit would they get for that? Uh, the credit mm. value for that event um, was 10 points and the maximum value of credits for any event would be 15. So Great. any new activity, um, we would review the credit values and then we would let you know. So if it was something that we hadn't already um, populated as a subscribed activity, then we would have to review it. Okay. It's, um, uh... On top of that, it's very important that you write down your review. Okay, attending a uh, work, uh, a word coffee show, or um, or a different event. Um, if you don't give us the feedback, the learning that you had uh, by attending, um, that it not necessarily will count. So we want to see that you've actually learned something from that event and you take something on board, and then also all the feedbacks they are good for us because it takes um, we take them in consideration as much as we can and we we can pass those feedbacks to where it's needed so don't forget to reveal and give your feedback of whatever you do great and then another question um related to attending this webinar if someone's attended sustainability and price crisis webinars did those also count yes that did. That was a recent question we had um, via our inbox, our CPD inbox, and um, we have reviewed that and we have gone back to the person that was uh, who asked about that. But we could add that, um, or I will add that for you as a subscribe activity so that you can just automatically go in and subscribe to that. Great. Thank you very much. Um, and then we have a question about renewing. Are there different point requirements depending on when an AST renews? For example, if, some, if someone has it in 2020. Yes, that's right. So a 2017 AST isn't required to gain, isn't required now to gain any points. Um, they are just recommended to start using the uh, CPD website so that you're familiar. Um, in 2020, when they do renew, they will be required to earn the 45 credits um, for the three-year period going forward. And a 2018 okay. AST, they will be required to earn 20 credits. Okay, is this, was this information available somewhere in like a, a table or a chart? I can see a lot of questions um, like this coming up. Not, not yet. It should be in the in the actual CPD guidebook, and we are adding mean. that information in there. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, we've covered some questions, but I really want to encourage anyone who's listening, who might have any other questions. You know, we'd love to hear them now. Um, okay. So another question about renewals on a rolling basis. Um, if someone earned theirs in November 2020, when would they be due for a renewal? 
2020 to 2023. So you've got till 2023 to gain the 45 uh, credits. Great. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to share some of the information that Vinny just passed along about um, CPD login and renewals in the chat here for the whole group. That was Alex. Ah, sorry. Oh, that, <laughs> it's yeah, been quite confusing with the, with the names flipped around. Exactly. <laughs> Um, I remember that we put that information on the <clears throat> mailing, so just for you to share, Sierra, thank you. No problem, it's done. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, I have a question here from someone about re renewals. Um, so if they took their course in 2017 and are now due for renewal in 2020, does that make sense? Does that sound right? That's right. <clears throat> so in 2020, you'll start um, using the, or you start being able to add your credits. You're probably asking if the course that you took in 2017 count as points for now. And that this goes back to what um, Alex said, that the credits will start to count from the 1st of August of this year. Yeah. All right. And uh, if anyone has any questions after this, what is the best email to direct those to? That is cpd at sca.coffee. And it's right. also on the link shared. All right, just dropping in like that in the group chat for anyone else who might need it. Um, I don't see any further questions. So I just want to ask if there's anything else people were wondering about before we wrap up this webinar. All right, I see one more question's come in. Um, so, okay. So let's say um, someone can start earning credits in August of this year. Then how can they earn enough credits before their renewal in 2020? I can see how that would be a little, a little stressful. Sorry, when did they start the AST license? So, so it as, says they, they took a course in 2017. <laughs> And it's up for renewal in 2020, but if the CPD program credits only count beginning in August of 2019. Um, and can I? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> this goes back um, again that if you are up to renewal now in, um, in 2020, that you don't need, and correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, you don't That's need right. to log any credits. So taking in consideration that the credits start to earn, so and you're right, it's not enough probably time. So that's okay. why we've been flexible and saying for those who are up to renew in 2020, they don't need to, to log in um, any credits. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's an important, uh, important information. In All right, of, well, it looks like just, Go ahead. just a, a quick recommendation to everyone um, do not leave at the last minute to log in uh, in your CPD profile and uh, start to, to record or track your activities. Um, try to create that habit. So sometimes we do things and we don't have this habit. It's a new thing, it's a new tool for you, for us. Um, and try to create these habits to every time that you do an activity, just log in in there, just track these activities. So when it comes to the moment for you to renew your license, you will realize how many points you have done. Okay. 
And I'll just add to that that we will also be able to check if you've logged in and we would also be able to send um, some reminders throughout the three years that uh, whether if you haven't logged in or you're um, a little bit behind on gaining your credits, then we could also send you a reminder. But if you can start uh, practicing that now, like Vinny said, then that will make it a lot easier. And your PDP plan, your personal development plan is like a calendar. So you can plan out over your three years what events um, and activities that you will attend so you're on track. All right. Thank you for that. That's very good uh, recommendations. And then I just have one more question to, to wrap things up with. Um, about renewals, whether they're done on a rolling basis, for example, August to August, April to April, or annually like for the calendar year? Yes, the renewal date should be exactly the same date as your AST license renewal date. Okay, and great. It's, so it's the month that you did your AST course initially, that's when your renewal date month will be as well in the following three years. Thanks for clarifying that. That's really great. All right. I think we've answered all the questions we've received so far. Remember, you can always email cpd at sca.coffee if you have any other questions for us. Um, and keep an eye on the AST Facebook group because we'll be posting there as soon as the guidebook is available in the portal. So thank you so much, Alex and Vinny. Thanks to all thank our you. attendees for joining. Um, hope everyone has a great rest of their day. You too. Thank you, Sierra. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.